Usually you have to win in Dana White's contender series to get a chance to be signed to the UFC, but Dana White must have been feeling a little nice because he ended up signing two people who lost. One of the fighters was Carly Judas, who lost to Ernesta via split decision, and the other was Angel Pacheco, who lost to Danny Silva for unanimous decision. Here's footage of Dana White telling Angel Pacheco backstage that he's going to be signed to the UFC. Kari, Kari, are you out of your mind? That was incredible. That's wonderful. I know you did. I had to tell you wanted to win, man. We're, we're going to pay you your win money, too. Uh, that was incredible. Let me see your ears. Oh, that is insane. We're going to get you to the hospital and get you taken care of, all right? I know it's crazy to say, but I'm just like short notice opportunity. No, it's not crazy. Holy shit. You're a bad boy, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you showed up to win tonight. Love it. You were right up my alley, buddy. It's all right. Good to see you. All right. When did you make the decision on Pacheco, dude? Because you told him you were going to give him his win money. Was it when you were standing up there that you finally decided you wanted to sign him as well? Or, or did you kind of know immediately after the fight, we're, we're bringing these two guys in as well? I went back there to tell him he was going to get his win money. When I went back there, his ear's hanging off. He's crying. And he looks at me and he says, I, want, I told him I'm going to pay you your win money. He could give a fuck that I'm going to give him his win money. And... He's crying. He said, I wanted to win this fight so bad. I want to be in the UFC so bad. If there's ever a late minute pullout or there's anything, please think of me. I said, oh, yeah. I said, dude, you are right up my alley. We're going to pay you your win money. And I went back and told the boys, we're, we're signing this kid. You want to be in the UFC that bad? He wanted to win this fight that bad. How bad do you think he wants to win his first UFC fight? I mean, once again, it was my mistake taking nothing from my opponent. He did good, he was the better man. <clears throat> but uh, I still got the contract, luckily. Uh, and I get to perform in the UFC, hopefully late this year or early next year. And I'll just do better. Uh, kind of take some of the pressure off myself and just make sure I perform, make sure I have fun in there. Overall, it was a fun fight. Uh, I had fun in there, uh, from what I remember. I had fun. Uh, it's, it sucks to fight on autopilot, so so next time let's let's just make sure that don't happen again. And and uh, yeah, but thank you everyone. A very emotional moment. Um, Dana White making the call to go ahead and sign this guy, regardless of if he lost or not. A lot of people saying that you know. Angel Pacheco, he took an illegal knee in that fight and he still kept going, you know, so he definitely got some heart and Dana White sees that and he gave Sean O'Malley and his coach Tim Welch visited a group of people living with disabilities. Just some real wholesome stuff. You love to see a little bit of a dance off. Right foot, left side. Left foot, left side. Cha cha, real smooth. And if you did not know, Sean O'Malley used to work in a mentally disabled group home before he pursued his MMA career full time. I went back to Montana for like probably less than a year, worked full time, saved up $2,000 and, and packed my car and drove to Phoenix. What were you doing? What was the job? It was actually really fun. I worked at a mentally disabled group home, with, so there's eight of them. So that's some pretty awesome stuff. Just giving back to the community, having fun, doing things he didn't necessarily have to do, but you know it's got to feel good to do at the end of the day. But tell me what you guys think about all of this stuff in the comments below.